Good morning, Joey Antonella here, and we got Ryan McKay on the boat, and we're looking to do some snapper fishing. And if you're looking to do some inshore fishing, you can book Ryan, because that's what he does. He does inshore fishing. We'll put a link to all that. Ryan runs charters on the Space Coast, specializing in inshore charters for snook, tarpon, redfish, and trout and jacks, and whatever else is around inshore that day. So here's a little bonus clip. Check it out, and then we'll get back into the offshore action. And there he goes up. Running around. Maybe coming up now. Brian bows to him. Ryan, why do you bow to him? I have no clue. I just saw it on YouTube, so I thought it was. <laughs> I don't like bowing to him out of a matter of principle. I think it gives them what they want. I just don't like feeling that pressure on the line. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Look at those flashes. Dark on him. Two little sharks and 16 sail cats. Oh my gosh. Big jumps. All right, maybe pull it It'll be bad when he comes up for a jump on the other side. Oh, look at that shark out there. Got him up. I saw the leader sticking out. Getting feisty here. He's not that small. Yeah, he's decent. Where's he hooked? In the top somewhere? Right in the boot then. So what are we doing? Are we doing a leader and break off? Or are you gonna like try to really tie him and grab him? Whatever you want. I say grab the leader and if he breaks off, he breaks off. We don't spend an hour doing it. Yep. No, I don't got him. I got these cuts on my hand too. There he is. Just put that rod in a holder or something. And come grab him from me. Got him. Get your other hand in there too. You got it? Yep. There we go. You got the first tarpon on the Salt X2. You beat me to it. Hooked right in the button. It's that soft spot right up there. Barely hooked. Barely hooked, but hooked perfect. Goes is a battle today between me and Ryan. He's using the Maxell Oceanic 30Y that you've seen me use before. Awesome bottom reel, awesome trolling reel, tons of power. And he's gonna be battling me using my little reel right here. I have to use an electric reel because I'm just a YouTuber. I'm not a real fisherman like Ryan. But I'm using the electric reel. We're looking for big red snappers some smaller red snappers and then bonus fish the real excitement comes on the flat line we're gonna get a flat line out there now look for some cobias or kings or something like that or wahoo or you never know but getting everything situated and gonna start fishing in a minute go for a start recording go for a start recording got my first fish on the spinner i'm fishing a regular reel too I'll show you the rig. Once you get it up. Come on. Got the color. Got me a nice red snap rod. I just got a little lead that goes all the way down to the hook. So these snappers are not big, but we need these also with the big ones because we get 75 pounds. If you get 20 pound fish or 15 pound fish, whatever they are, if they add up to 80 pounds, that's too many. So we try to get her close to 75 and then fill in the gaps with the smaller ones. There's another one bouncing its way up. Color down there. And Ryan uses the gaff. Hand lines them the rest of the way in. Now there are Go 
GoPro start recording? Getting the little guys. Got them coming up. I got Cola. Another arse. Picking at them just like that. That's going to be bigger than mine. Keep them coming, Ryan. That reel just puts out so much power. It's crazy. Got deep color, deep color. No sharks on them. They're looking good. Nicer red. Hook looks good. In the boat. Now Ryan's over here turning the handle, pushing the buttons, switching things up a little bit. We got a flat line going down, drifting chunk down. And we got us a nice snap bra. Switching it up to the flat line shoe. Drifting chunks. Ryan's putting the heat to him. There we go. That's a better one. Let's bring him back here and look at the hook first. Oh, that's good. Well, that's actually only 40. We got him. There we go. Nice red. That is a solid arse. So we got somewhere around 60 pounds. That was a quick little, a quick ish. We actually struggled a little bit in the beginning, but you didn't see that. Uh, about 60 pounds or so. Ryan's gonna weigh him up while I'm in the water, but this is what we got now. We got my gilly bag. with all my dive gear in here. We're gonna hop in the water and try to go down there and shoot something. Maybe an amberjack or maybe a couple more reds to finish this off for the day. My Florida free dive spins. The rest of my stuff's back there. We're gonna get all geared up and hop in the water and switch over to the mask camera. It's the dive time, hopping in the water and I got my big old Koa 130 wide body or fat body or something like that. It's my big gun. And the reason I'm using the big gun, even though I'm most likely just gonna be shooting snappers, is because there are no fences. A 100 pound Wahoo could swim by, a 100 pound Amberjack could swim by, a 15 pound snapper could swim by you just never really know even though i'm going for mostly fish that aren't giant i want to be prepared i'd rather be overgunned than undergunned uh there are negatives to having too big of a spear gun a lot of people ask me for recommendations and why don't you just get a real big gun so you can always have a big gun a big gun is harder to track and by that i mean swing and aim at fish if you have a snapper that's darting from side to side like mangroves and muttons do so much uh, the bigger gun's harder to work with. I like my 120 that's a lot narrower, besides being a shorter gun. It's also a skinnier gun. It tracks through the water easier. This 130 is a bigger gun. I got to swing it a little bit slower, but the fish were just solid, and I didn't really care. I knew I'd be able to get close to these fish. But my diving style that I use is more like mid-water hunting or mid-water depth hunting, and I'm just going slow. Most of my dives average around a minute to a minute and 20, and it's all free diving. So you're holding your breath, you're swimming down, you're shooting a fish, you're coming up. That's it. No breathing, no nothing like that down there. Now you will see the fish are everywhere. The water was clear, the amberjacks were coming up to me, the red snapper were coming up to me, and I just wanted to pick out a nice big red snapper. I can shoot amberjacks almost year round, and right there we have them. The El Rolo. I talk about the El Rolo shot all the time, and that's because it's that fun. Got a big old red snapper, probably about a 15 or 18 pound red snapper with the El Rolo. And I'm not pushing myself here. I'm diving by myself, so I'm just really trying to be cautious. I'm diving right under the boat. There was next to no current, so it made it as safe as you can be diving by yourself. And I worked my way back up to the surface and would hand the fish off to Ryan once I got to the boat. Oh, 
there are so many fish down there. Nice one. He came up and we thumped him. He was in the chum. Rolled him. Nice red snapper. We'll skip the slow drift down there this time for you. And I'm with the fish again. Hanging around 60 or 60 feet or so, I would say. And the snappers and amberjacks were solid. I missed the stone shot. Barely missed the El Rolo shot on that one. And it was a long fight. I skipped it since I was having some camera issues and it was all fuzzy, but we got him. Well, he gave me a really good shot, but I missed the El Rolo. Still a solid AJ though. Not a bad one. 